Hello, my name is Medjin. and I'll be telling you about maple syrup urine disease today. Maple syrup urine disease is caused by a defect in the metabolism of branch chain amino acids. It causes marked serum elevations of leucine, isoleucine, and valine. This results in acidosis, cerebral degeneration, and death within two weeks if untreated. Maple syrup urine disease occurs in one out of every 180,000 infants, but it has a higher occurrence rate in Amish and Mennonite societies. Benji, I need you to assess this newborn. All right, doctor. Will do. Okay, so let me check his name band. Baby Jarvis? Baby Jarvis. All right. Okay, so just going to check some uh, normal signs. So let's check his uh, respirations. All right, his respirations look good. I'm just going to take one of his reflexes really quick. So I'm going to check this baby's moral reflex. Alright, and his urine. His urine is looking pretty well, not too concentrated, just just right. Now, let me just check his rooting reflex really quickly to make sure, you know, he has that. He should try and come towards the nipple when it touches on the cheek. There he goes. Ah, he's a little cute baby. Okay. Well, everything's looking good, doctor. Meji, this patient hasn't been eating as well lately and has convulsions. It seems as if he has maple syrup urine disease. Will you go check him out for me? Uh, yes, doctor. I'll go check him out right now. This is Baby Jarvis? Baby Jarvis. Alright. Okay, let me check his name tag real quick. Baby Jarvis? Baby Jarvis. Alright. Okay. Check his respirations. They're really irregular. This is one of the signs of a maple syrup urine disease. They also say baby with maple syrup urine disease lose their moral reflex. There's no moral reflex evident. Okay. They also have very fruity breath. Wow. That's about as fruity as it gets. Okay. And uh, their urine is said to have a sweet uh, odor, somewhat that of maple syrup. So let's check his urine really quick. Okay. Woo! It smells like fresh pancakes on a Sunday morning. All right. And uh, that's about it. So yeah, it looks like this baby does have maple syrup urine disease, doctor. According to this stuff. All right. I need you to do the treatment and nursing care for Baby Jarvis. Baby Jarvis? Baby Jarvis. Treatment and nursing care? No problem. Now, here I am to talk about treatments and nursing care for maple syrup urine disease. What you want to do is you want to detect it as early as possible. Second of all, you want to remove any amino acids in his body by, you know what? Hydration. Hydration will dilute his blood into making dialysis easier. Okay. Now as he sucks on his bottle, his blood is being diluted for now when we put him into the dialysis machine. As we put him into the dialysis machine, now it's cleansing his blood and removing and lowering amino acids. One major thing, the diet has to be a lifelong low on 
leucosine, isoleucine, and valine. And that's about it. Treatments and nursing. Here's some ways to prevent complications of Mepsir urine disease and to prevent future occurrence in families. Genetic counseling is suggested for prospective parents with family history of Mepsir urine disease. If this disease is not treated well, neurological damage such as a low IQ can occur if poorly treated. Good. Well, based on diets, you can find information at www.msud-support.org or www.medicalfood.com backslash msud underscore foods dot h t m l that's it we out we out